Since 1990, the NIH Office of Research on Women's Health has been dedicated specifically to promoting women's health research. The office has served as the focal point at NIH for research relevant to the health of women and has promoted and supported women's health research in the greater biomedical community as well. One of the most important developments of the past 30 years has been the transformation of the term women's health from a narrow focus on maternal and reproductive health to a broader, holistic, and multidimensional concept involving the health of women from head to toe and across their lifespans. ORWH is addressing the complex intersection of factors that affect women's health, from biological variables to gender roles, policies, and social determinants of health. This transformation evolved over many years. During the 1960s, the civil and women's rights movements gave rise to the women's health movement, which drew attention to inequities in research and health care. Later, a series of drug recalls revealed that many drugs posed greater health risks to women than to men. Moreover, nearly all medications were tested only in men. The scientific community took note and responded, led by forward-thinking leaders such as Bernadine Healy, Ruth Kirstein, Vivian Pinn, and later ORWH's current director, Janine Clayton, and NIH director, Francis Collins. Congress, too, pressed for change. Also influential were patient advocacy organizations, research institutions, medical societies, and women's health groups. In the late 1980s and 90s, NIH adopted inclusion policies that accelerated the movement toward a multidimensional approach to women's health. A few years later, the NIH Revitalization Act of 1993 required the inclusion of women and minorities in NIH-funded clinical research. Today, about half of participants in NIH clinical trials are women. More recently, the 21st Century Cures Act required NIH to revise its policy on the inclusion of children in clinical research, expanding the policy to include individuals of all ages. But inclusion didn't go far enough. For women to receive optimal clinical care, clinicians need to understand how sex and gender affect disease manifestation, diagnosis, and treatment. In 2016, the NIH's landmark Sex as a Biological Variable policy, the development of which was led by ORWH, further advanced women's health by helping to ensure that the potential influences of sex on health and disease are considered early and throughout the research process. This work also helps advance women's health toward a holistic, multidimensional framework. Through the years, ORWH's signature research programs have added to the body of knowledge that is informing this approach to women's health. Among these are the Building Interdisciplinary Research Careers in Women's Health, or BIRCH program, a trans-NIH collaborative effort launched in 2000 that connects junior faculty to senior faculty with shared interest in women's health and sex differences research. The Specialized Centers of Research Excellence on Sex Differences, or SCORE, program, which translates scientific knowledge about how diseases affect women and men differently into new treatments that improve clinical care. The U3 program, NIH's only program focused on researching health disparities among populations of women that have been understudied, underrepresented, and underreported in biomedical research. NIH's first research project grant that focuses on sex and gender in health and disease. And ORWH funded research and programs that are addressing pressing issues women currently face, such as maternal morbidity and mortality and opioid use disorder. Supporting the advancement of women in biomedical careers has been a key aspect of ORWH's mission. The office has also played a vital role in supporting a diverse biomedical research workforce, including both women and men, that addresses the health of women. In 2007, NIH Director Elias Zerhouni established the Working Group on Women in Biomedical Careers. Its landmark Causal Factors and Interventions initiative produced research that has expanded opportunities and reduced barriers for women in biomedical research. This diversity has produced better science. Studies show that women researchers are more likely to study sex as a biological variable, further expanding the knowledge base of sex effects. Diversity among researchers also helps generate more innovation. 
Over the years, ORWH has supported critical trans-NIH and extramural research that has profoundly increased our understanding of women's health and produced groundbreaking clinical interventions. Among this work are the Women's Health Initiative, the study of women's health across the nation, and numerous discoveries that have dramatically reduced breast cancer death rates, led to the HPV vaccine, and more recently, contributed to the development of a 3D modeling system of the female reproductive organs tract. The path forward holds great promise. Since 1990, ORWH-supported research, policy innovations, and career programs have helped to expand the knowledge base and produce better science. And by working to broaden the concept of women's health to include all diseases and conditions that affect the health of women from head to toe and across the life course, ORWH is helping to improve the health of women and the families and communities to which they belong.